I love being at BYU. Within the, the first two weeks I was here, met the girl who would become my wife. That was probably the most important thing that happened to me at BYU. I had a great education here. It was a great experience. My wife and I, we got married, I think it was my freshman year we got married. And by the time we graduated, we had two children. So those were two great things that happened to me while I was here at BYU. I look back on it and think it was really, it was, it was a great time, had a wonderful time here. And one of the things I loved about going to BYU is in class, we, whatever we were studying, and it didn't really matter what class we were in, they brought some kind of spiritual aspect to what they were teaching to the lessons. And that was great for me. Uh, so I felt like not only did I get a great education here, it also helped me emotionally and spiritually to have gone to this school. At BYU, they have a slogan. In fact, if you drive onto the BYU campus at their main entrance, uh, on a placard right there in the entrance, their slogan says, enter to learn, go forth to serve. And really, that is the purpose of Brigham Young University as a whole, is to educate um, not only in a field of study, but to create good disciples of Jesus Christ, as well as helping them with an education that can help them be leaders in their field. I, I wanted to find a way to give back. Uh, Brigham Young has been a great thing for me in my life and I wanted to find a way that I could come back to BYU and contribute in some way. And when I found the Rollins Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology, I found a way that I could come back and not just give back to BYU in some way, which I do financially anyway, but a way for me to give back to students and help them in their experience here on campus, but also help them going forward. So I get to come back now to talk to students, talk to entrepreneurs who are just getting started, who have ideas, things that they want to do, companies they want to start, products they want to develop, and help them get a head start so they can avoid some of the mistakes I made in starting my own business and at the same time maybe contribute some things that I did right that they can look forward to and I, th I think also motivate them in, in some way to know that despite all the struggles they're going to face in starting their own businesses, the results are awesome. Stay close to the Lord. If you're doing something that you really believe in, that you can really sink your whole heart and soul into, and then you follow promptings, you seek revelation, you keep a positive attitude, overcome your obstacles, and don't let them stop you, you'll achieve. And I look forward to hearing all about it. Thank you so much. Thank you.